Yeah, but this is gonna. This is like this is the next definition of greatness. Um, and and this will be really interesting. I'm a big basketball fan of like who's gonna be greater, MJ or LeBron. And if you look at MJ um, off the court, there's not really much awareness of who he was. He was just an unbelievable athlete on the court. Um, and now LeBron is more than an athlete. So many things. The I Promise School. You know, you can see the. You can see like the. The I saw a tweet the other day, day from OBJ, which is like, this is why you will always be the greatest to LeBron. Um, and so this is about like athletes learning that it's not about the sport that you can leverage your platform to have a wider impact and that's where like greatness is going to go so if you watch um like the heavyweight division at the moment you've got this really interesting thing because tyson fury has this fight and uh, on saturday night and then as soon as the fight finishes he said i did it for everybody who has mental health challenges to prove that no matter how low you go, you can get back up and you can make it. Yeah. And that wasn't the narrative in any sport like a few years ago. Um, and now athletes are like seeing that this is what this is what you can do and this is how you can impact. And like Anthony Joshua uh, has the same kind of causes and, and, and things that he's looking for. And if, if, Deont- if Deontay was given the same like airtime and space to talk, like he can be a massive inspiration for so many kids in America with what he's come through and what he's done. So I think it's about like uh, reframing greatness, reshaping, you know, what is a great 21st century athlete. Um, and and you look at guys like Jay-Z and, and, um, and for me, Acorn is yeah. a great example. You know, he runs a power station that gives light to 80 million homes in West Africa. Really? Um, and you know, and he says like he learned that his music is was just his platform to do the stuff that he really cared about. Yeah. Um, and with social media, you know, what we now know is that you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be LeBron to get that platform. No. Because like some guy called Tweety Pie or whatever that my kids look at has got a bigger <laughs> bigger platform than LeBron. You know, so you could be like an average left back in the FCN first team. Yeah. Um, we don't have average ones, by the way. We've got really good ones, just in case they like pull me up on it. We've got two really good ones. But, um, you know, you could be a left back in the FCN first team and you could end up getting a bigger bigger voice than some guy who plays regularly in the Champions League because you've got something to say and, you, and you've got a purpose and you've got something that's important. Um, and when you look at all these like mental health issues in football where these guys go through and the purpose is football and then it stops... And then they lose their identity uh, because they don't know what to get out of bed for anymore. Yeah. Like that's a mistake with the system. So we need to we need primarily in our academies to give our ch- give our kids the best chance of finding purpose beyond football. And then when they start to act on that purpose, we believe that will improve their performance levels, which is great for everybody. But it will lead to them being happy, which is like what you try and produce from a school: happy kids.